princess regained confidence and the splendor of joy and hope. She met a charming young man, Richard, whom she befriended. However, pain and pleasure, joy and sadness are two sides of the same coin, and Richard, due to his father's illness, is forced to leave his sweet friend for an adventurous trip in distant foreign countries. The two are forced to part, and they exchange gifts. Snow White gives him her beautiful green hair ribbon, and Richard gives her his mother's precious pin, and both say farewell to each other. In the castle, Queen Crystal, envious of Snow White's pure beauty, plans a diabolic plot to get rid of her stepdaughter. Richard, my prince, wherever you are, know that I care very much for you. My heart is with you. I pray every day so God may bless and protect you always. Pocket? What are you trying to tell me? Are you both all so sad? Oh, I already told you my face is clean, so you don't need to wash it. Oh, thank you. You know, even if I can't see Richard anymore, I'll not be unhappy at all, because I have you three. Well, you are Samson. From what I have heard, you are an excellent hunter. You are not afraid of the wolves? <laughs> I think you are the man I need. You have a large body, must be as strong as a lion, and your looks frighten even the most courageous. This is nothing more than an advance payment, Samson. You will hunt for me an easy rabbit, a young white girl. <laughs> Here I am! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to catch you! Ah, there it is, the white rabbit you'll have to kill. Mm -hmm. What, are you afraid of a child? It is me you need to be afraid of. I need you, and you will obey me. Tomorrow you will follow Snow White and kill her in the forest. Inside that pouch I gave you, you'll bring me her dead heart. She must be killed before the sun goes down. Do as I tell you, and you will be well rewarded. <laughs> Whether I do this or not, I can't be forgiven. No, not the heart of Snow White. God help me. Praise that rat's virtue anymore. I will be once again the most beautiful in the kingdom. <laughs> It is really incredible. Shines like a star in the night. What? I mean your jewel. Oh. It looks great on you. Thank you. I'm glad it pleases you. It's a gift I care for very much. A gift? Oh. Snow White, what are your feelings for me? 
I know you don't like me, but it is my fault. I don't do anything to make you like me and blame you for my sorrows. Forgive me. If only this rain would wash away my mistakes and sins, but I guess it's too much to ask. Snow White, if I have been strict to you, it's because I want you to receive the education worthy of a future queen. It is true that sometimes I went too far, but it was always for your sake. From now on, consider me a good and wise friend at this time of need. Let's help one another without any fighting. Oh yes, I would love it. Look. The clouds are leaving. Tomorrow it is going to be a beautiful day. Yes. Listen, my dear, it isn't healthy to stay always indoors. Tomorrow I want you to go in the woods for a walk. Breathe some fresh air. Have a good time. What? Can I really go out? Of course. It's beautiful, you know, at this time of the year. The deers have their little ones in the woods. Oh, yes. Oh, maybe. Tomorrow you'll still have fun with your friends. Oh, yes, Mother. Richard, my dear, tomorrow I will go near the place we met. I wish you could be here, but I'm very sure we'll be together soon. Snow White, an innocent child who knows no evil, has no idea of the wicked purpose her cruel stepmother has in mind on that starless night. Snow White, this man right here is Samson. He's our servant. He will take care of you in the woods. He's not very talkative, but is loyal and reliable. You can trust him. Thank you very much for keeping me company. <laughs> hey, do you want to come along too? Hey, hey, little ones, be nice. Better not go with the princess, for you may frighten the little deer. Be good and wait for Snow White with me. She'll be back soon. Ah. Come on, let's play together. You'll enjoy it. You will come with me some other time, my friends, when the little deer grows up, okay? But please, behave well while I'm gone. Have fun! <laughs> Get out of my way, you filthy little beasts! Shut up! Get lost! I don't want to see any one of you around this castle anymore!
Mr. Samson. Uh. For you. <sighs> Mr. Samson, don't you want my flowers? Uh. I picked them for you. Oh, thank you. Go away! Go away! Get out of here! <laughs> you have lions and wolves, but you're afraid of bees? What a great spring. I'll get rid of the stinky pets and the horrible girl at the same time. <laughs> I know there is so much time. With those cats. Dogs. Cat, right? Get the cat. Wait, you got it. Here. Look over here. Oh, 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 Finally, after a terrible effort, Milk, Pocket, and Cuckoo, Snow White's faithful friends, escaped from the castle. Ah, oh, it's so fresh and wonderful. Good. Do you want some, Mr. Samson? You must be very thirsty. Uh, uh, yes, Princess. Oh, look how much you're sweating. Today is very hot. Here, drink some water. It will quench your thirst. Drink. Yes, thank you. Very fresh, Princess. Is something wrong? No, nothing. Oh! Oh, what on earth could have happened to it? Are you all right? Where is your mommy? Where did you come from, little one? Oh! Oh, there she is! Uh, here! Over here! But what's wrong with her? It must be afraid. Oh, what happened over there? Well, now the baby is here. Never mind, little dear. You're not alone. We'll wait with you for your mother to come. Here, drink some water. After all, you must be thirsty. Louisa, my dear daughter. Sweet Louisa, if you were still alive, you would be more or less Princess Snow White's age. Louisa. Oh, Louisa! 
Louisa! Louisa! Louisa! Oh! Oh, my God! Louisa! <laughs> what are you afraid of, Samson? You will follow Snow White and kill her in the forest. Inside the pouch I gave you, you'll bring me her dead heart. Do as I tell you, and you will be well rewarded. If you fail, you will lose your life. Oh, <laughs> very good. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, but why? Huh? Oh, but why are the birds leaving? Oh, are you going back? Don't you want to play? Princess! But... Samson, what are you doing? Princess, run away, quick! Oh, Mr. Samson! Run away, Princess. Do as I tell you. The Queen hired me to kill you, but I don't have the courage to do it. Run away! No, it's not true. You're lying. The queen wants you dead, and she wants me to give her your heart. Uh. Why do you want me dead, mother? What have I done? Princess, run away from here, quickly! Uh. Uh. Believe me, go as far as you can and never return to the castle again. I'll say it again. Leave, Princess. Mr. Samson! Run, Snow White, and never come back! Samson's words left Snow White's heart full of sorrow. Distant from all her friends, the ones she loves, she feels lonely and abandoned again. Where would the path in front of her lead to? Will it be smooth or full of obstacles? Will Snow White recover her smile or will a sad destiny continue to persecute her? <laughs>